Welcome back to New Day. We're going to return to our coverage of Flight 370 in just a moment. We're also following another top story. Breaking overnight, U.S. Navy SEALs seized a commercial tanker in the Mediterranean Sea. The Morning Glory had been seized earlier this month by three armed Libyans and is carrying a cargo of oil owned by the Libyan government. For more on what's happening here, let's turn to CNN's Pentagon correspondent, Barbara Starr. Barbara. Good morning, Michaela. President Obama personally approved the mission for the U.S. Navy SEALs to board and raid that ship overnight. Uh, it had been followed very closely, but it was a bit of a mystery. The ship seized earlier this month by apparently three armed men at a port in Libya, which is part of the country that was seeking more autonomy from the federal government, essentially a breakaway rebel group. Uh, it had about 200,000 barrels belong to the government, and the ship was boarded and seized in uh, the Mediterranean, as you say, between Libya and Cyprus. It was boarded by the U.S. with the approval of the Libyan government. No one hurt, by all accounts, no shots fired. Another move by the Navy SEALs and the mission, by all accounts, executed successfully. Sounds like a fairly uh, easy takeover. Do we have any indication of what happened to those Libyan suspects on board, those three men? What, right now, those three men are still said to be on board the ship, and that ship is now under the control of the U.S. Navy. There are a group of U.S. Navy sailors on board who are piloting that tanker back to a Libyan port, and it is expected that the men will be turned back over to the Libyan government. Michaela? Quite a situation that played out there. Barbara Starr, thank you so much.